I recently made a documentary exposing child predators in a pedo ring currently on the internet. Actual reports to the FBI and NCMEC have been made because of it, which can be provided upon request. Predators flagged the video and got it removed, and my appeal was denied. All personal information was hidden or censored. Names and identities were altered to protect the privacy of non-consenting parties. All dramatization in the visuals and dialogue are fictional and meant for storytelling purposes. Please reinstate the video at Team YouTube. On the 5th of June 2020, one of my good friends Mama Max would upload a video exposing predators found on a website aimed at children. After going down the rabbit hole, it appeared that the site's remaining time online was numbered, as Max was reporting his findings to authorities. His video began to gain steam, but before it could get large enough for widespread internet and media attention. He was silenced. Oh, no, 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 that's not gonna fly. Because what he found was some of the most vile and disgusting behavior that I've ever seen on the internet. Tonight, we're going in. This is the Kitsch Chat Rabbit Hole. Slayer. It was a late spring night. Max was chilling in his room playing some Halo Reach and sipping on a hot chocolate. He was cozy. He was good. After uncovering the cartoons incorporated predator ring in his previous video, he was hungry to expose another. But as it turns out, leads were scant. A bit of time goes by though. And it finally arrives. an email notification imploring him to investigate something by the name of Children's Chat. And after heading to the websites, he knew what he had to do. This was something that went unchecked for far too long. He dives in, expressing frustration and confusion that the advertisements were clearly aimed at adults, that the website's graphics depicted those that were clearly over 18, and that right when you jump into that live chat, you're met with this. something definitely off. Before Max's spotlight of attention, the website basically ran unchecked, so I'm sure you can see where the problem is. Within an hour of joining, Max's burner account, disguised as a 13-year-old girl named Maxine, was met with over 10 unprompted messages, all with the acronym A, S, and L. Age, sex, and location. And so he continued his dive, tracking down and exposing the faces of the predators that reached out to him. 
It was a fantastic upload, and the topic's definitely something that needs to be seen and addressed. Because allowing a website quite literally aimed at children to harbor predators with virtually no way of tracing them down festers a community infected with people that don't deserve to be online. Or around children. Because they should be in jail. So who silenced him and struck that video down? Was it the predators that he exposed? Was it YouTube? Or was it this website's? That's where we come in because I can't just let this go. I can't rest knowing that children are being targeted by nefarious individuals with virtually no repercussions. So let's head in. After witnessing this firsthand, I don't know what to say. I'm at a loss here. I've reported this to the NCMEC and the FBI and can only hope that they investigate this and shut it down. This is not a place for kids. This is not moderated. There is no verification. And this is not a safe space. I'm honestly at a loss as to how someone can jump onto this site as a mere guest. You need nothing but a username, an age, and a gender. That's it. For a site that so heavily boasts its security and moderation, this is a pitiful excuse for user verification. So back to the core question now that we've seen the issue firsthand. Why was Max's video deleted? Why was his video exposing such vile child predation censored so quickly? Like I asked prior, was it because he exposed the names and faces of those he came into contact with or was it something else? Over on the official kids chat blog, 
it was brought to my attention that the website administrator went forth to make posts defending their sites. It reads the following. Hey kids, recently it's been brought to our attention that a video was created with accusations directed at the owners, administrators, and moderators of this very website. We usually don't respond to such crap and just continue to make this website better without the outside noise. However, with a little extra time, we thought it would be appropriate to send a message in response to the channel and its author that was posting false accusations and defamatory remarks about this website and its staff. I've gathered input from several of our staff members for this writing. For this blog's purposes, we'll call the video author Mr. X. Mr. X, of course, being Max. This website has always put safety first for our users. There are many rules and tips that we can provide on this website. It's literally spread throughout. We have never encouraged older users to use this website. Quite the contrary. Just ask all the older users we currently have on our ban list. It's written in many places that users older than 19 are not allowed. Mr. Rex has implied that there was no response from our administrator Arkham to his email when he asked what would be done from the predators he encountered on a recent visit to our website. In fact, Arkham did reply. He was asked to send screenshots. He didn't receive them, so there was no action done. After all, what was Arkham to do if there's no evidence? If we started to ban people when another user makes an accusation, that'd be total chaos. Stop. For a website as unsecure as this, this wouldn't cause total chaos as they'd simply be able to jump on a new account. It takes five seconds after all. Also, that wouldn't cause chaos because if you were speaking to a kid who claimed that they'd been harassed, but wasn't versed with computers, nor knew how to take a screenshot, what would you do? If you boast so heavily about moderation and security, then why was it so hard for me to find any way to directly report individual users that were DMing me? It isn't there. There's no report button. I can ignore them and add them as a friend and that's it. This is not as easy as you're making it out to be. And if you have any genuine intentions for keeping this site alive, then you need to optimize your user interface to reflect that. A report button for public chat messages, but not individual users, is insufficient. You need to do better. KidsChat.net has been here for a long time. We have grown into a very popular and enjoyable community platform for kids to chat throughout the years. If this website was anything like he claims, then there would not be a single user here. Yet, everyone can see the abundance of happy kids who use our website to contact their friends and make new friends. If any of us were supporting criminal activity suggested in his video, then we'd surely all be in prison by now. With popularity, unfortunately, also brings the risks with it. More users always becomes more problems. However, we are here to fight them. We are continuing to work every single day to make this place safer and to help put away the filth for good. Stay safe everyone, and happy chatting. The Kids Chat Net Team Further on in their blog post, they address the deletion of Max's video. Updates Users have brought to my attention that the video made by Money Max, which included defamatory and slanderous remarks towards us, has been removed by YouTube for violating policy. For the record, we did not flag the video. Afterwards, they went forth to make another blog post with more of the same, defending their website to the very end and stressing that they're serious about keeping it a safe place. To be honest, I don't doubt some of their claims. I don't think Max's video was taken down by them either. I have a funny feeling that this was a YouTube thing. Throughout Max's video, he made a few graphic analogous depictions of him taking down a few of these predators. These takedowns are almost reminiscent of Gokunaru's video on H3H3, which, if you're unaware, was essentially a content cop style video about Ethan Klein with a graphic skit at the end depicting the execution of him. It was meant to signify his ego being shot down, but of course YouTube took it literally. What's new? Anyway, that video has since been blacklisted by YouTube, and any attempts to get it back up, even by Keemstar, have been futile. As it turns out, shortly after Gokunaru's video was released, YouTube implemented an anti-harassment and bullying policy that, admittedly, is extremely vague. The reason I bring this up though, is because the parallels between Max and Gokunaru's videos are prevalent, and I'm sure YouTube took them both down for the exact same reason. Backing up to Kids Chat though, I don't doubt that they, 
at their core, want to keep kids safe. Digging through their years-old blog posts presents us with multiple reminders to stay vigilant when chatting online, stressing the dangers of communicating with strangers to their users. The issue I have with this site as a whole mainly stems from the fact that it's far too easy for malicious individuals to set up camp, festering a user base with nefarious intentions. For a website that's been ongoing for over 18 years, you would think that they'd have some sort of rock-solid moderation, an endless repository of banned words, knowledge of how predators can get around said words, and a reporting process that would make sense for a random kid online. But they don't. They don't. And so, to the kids' chat administrators, I'd like to say this. The system that you have in place is, by all accounts, understaffed, unsecure, and lacks the user-friendliness to really address the primary issue at hand. Predators are able to exploit your site's weak points, and as we've seen, being in that chat room for not even 10 minutes made me a potential target for them. If these changes are not addressed, then I can predict an FBI investigation in the near future. Don't pretend like there isn't a problem. Don't pretend like this doesn't happen there every single day. Don't pretend like your website's perfect, because your website is not even good. You have a lot of work to do, and there will be a lot of eyes on you. Predators are on your platform. What will you do to handle it? I've reported my findings to the NCMEC and the FBI, and if you ever find vile behavior like this anywhere online, I implore you to do the same. Mama Max's content is a fantastic watch. He's out there fighting the good fights, and with enough vigilant eyes looking out around the internet, we can all fight the good fight too. I didn't know exposing a pedophile ring would fall under cyberbullying and harassment to YouTube, but I understand that I'm not allowed to show the faces of convicted predators that have evidence against them. And I understand I'm not allowed to use fake blood, a prop brain, or fictional violence to express myself creatively. And I understand that even though I'm a human being, I'm not allowed to express any subjectivity, emotion, or opinion when I make a video about the kind of people who are exploiting, manipulating, kidnapping, selling children. Because at first I thought I should just save objectivity when I contacted the FBI and NCMEC, and that I would have the artistic freedom to express myself and spread awareness on YouTube. But how silly was I? How silly was I to think that creative content on a video streaming platform where I have an audience to entertain and educate should be anything more than me reading a police report in monotone and calling it a day. Uh, so at that, I just want to say, I'm so sorry, YouTube. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I hurt the feelings of manipulative, malicious, evil people who want to have sex with kids in peace. I'm sorry that I disrupted the safe space you're creating for criminals. I hope one day we can invite all manner of animal to this platform, holding hands in harmony. You're absolutely right for taking my video down. Next time, I won't be so angry in my views of these people. I will be pleasant as a Georgia peach. Just kidding. <laughs> We can argue the ethics of my video all goddamn day, but nah, I'm not going to waste my time empathizing with predators like you, YouTube. Instead, I'm just going to keep helping the victims, because that's who we care about.